host of King's Watch. We are here in Sacramento with the most exciting NBA team. Right now, the Sacramento Kings are three and one. They handed the new LA team, the LA Clippers, their first season loss. They broke ground for a new stadium last week. As one fan tweeted, best week ever. We want to talk to the fans. Let's hear what they had to say. So there's some exciting things going on here in Sacramento with the Kings. They're three and one, right? Yeah, yeah. They gave the Clippers their first loss, right? The yeah. new LA team. Are you guys excited? I am very excited because I want to see Darren Collison pass the ball and I want to see him execute and get us this win tonight. Why tonight? Because it's very special against the Denver Nuggets and I want to see my team go four and one. All right, so you're excited. We're looking forward to a great year. What do you think is going to happen with this season? I think we're going to be great, at least win 50 games. Hopefully make the playoffs. I don't know. Let's just see tonight. We'll see tonight. Thank you, guys. And what's this little one's name? Liliana. Liliana. <laughs> Liliana, the Lindas fan. Okay, so everybody seems to be excited about the Sacramento Kings. Are you excited and why? It's going to be a good season. They're already 3-1, and one, and uh, Cousins did a really good performance last game. So I'm excited to see the rest of the season. Do you think this is just a fluke, just the beginning of the season, or do you think it's really going to last? I think it's more than a, of a good start. What, what about the players? Do you think they could gel together and make it happen? This, this season we're going to do it, definitely. We're going to make it to the playoffs. So, Ezra, you look like you are a diehard fan. You're here long before the game starts. What gets you here so early? Um, just to watch them warm up, and um, we got like a t um, ticketing rep from the Kings. It's exciting, isn't it? Yes. What do you think is going to happen this season? A championship. A championship. He's going out on a limb. He's calling it a championship. All right. Let's hope so. Come on. Here's to a championship. Thank you, Ezra. So as you can see, the fans have high expectations for their Sacramento Kings this year. They're expecting 50 games at least. And then some people even said the P word as in playoffs. Let's see if the Kings can keep it going tonight against Denver. They won last night. Let's see if they can do it tonight. A sidebar note, the coach of the Denver Nuggets is from Oakland, California. One of my alumni, Bishop O'Dowd High School. But go Kings. We'll be right back. A word from our sponsors. For over 25 years, the Thompson's experience has been best told by our customers. Hi, my name is Bruce McDonald. I would recommend this dealership to any, anyone that's uh, looking to buy a Toyota of any kind. Hi, my name is Patty McIntosh. I would do this and recommend this to anybody and everybody. You are treated like a celebrity. It's absolutely amazing. Thompson's, where our customers do the talking for us. Experience it for yourself. Experience Thompson's. Hi, everybody. I'm here with my Ace Boom Coon. Coach Tyrone Corbin, how are you liking Sacramento? It's been great, it's been great, good, really fun to be here. Good. So, what are you expecting from your team tonight? Because they are three and one. Sacramento is excited. The fans are excited. New stadium. What's going on here? Well, they continue to get better. You know, the guys have been working their butt off to get better every night out there on the floor, and uh, we're starting to see some of the things work on in practice coming to, coming to fruition in the game. So, we got to continue to get better. Okay, we're looking forward to a good game. You know, you're coaching against my homeboy Brian Shaw. We went to high school together. Well, we're gonna we're gonna have to beat him up a little bit tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that's Coach Tyrone Corbin, Sacramento Kings.
Hi there. The first quarter was a blowout. The Sacramento Kings lead 40 to 19. Demarcus Cousins early on went four for four, ending the quarter with 16 points. Rudy Gay three for three, ending the quarter with nine points. I can tell you, it's electric in the air. Every time a basket is made, this place goes crazy. Sacramento proud. We'll see you after the second quarter. For over 25 years, the Thompson's experience has been best told by our customers. This is Dennis and Rebecca Webster of Garden Valley. We would like all our family and friends to come share the Thompson experience. Hi, this is Kimberly and Robert, and we're from Citrus Heights. We just bought a new Toyota Corolla for my daughter. We would like all of our friends and family to share in the Thompson's experience. Thompson's, where our customers do the talking for us. Experience it for yourself. Experience Thompson's. Okay, so I got accosted on the way up and told I need to interview this guy. Who's this guy? Robert Wheeler. And Robert, I hear you've been a long time season ticket holder. How long? 1986. Okay, did you almost pass out when you thought the team was going to be sold? I really did. I was upset. I listened to the radio every, every day at 3 o'clock when Grant came on. And uh, I was glued to all the, the media and the newspapers. Uh, just praying that they'd stay here. I really was. So what are you expecting this season? Well, at this point, after the start, I mean, right now I'd be thrilled if they finished 500. 500, you heard it here. Longtime season ticket holder. Thank you. Thank you.
For over 25 years, the Thompson's experience has been best told by our customers. My name is Rod Hammond, and I'm from Berkeley, California. I'd like to invite all my family and friends to come and enjoy the Thompson's experience. My name is Brandon Babcock, and this is my wife, Sarah. We just purchased our first car together. We recommend all of our family and friends, we invite them to come out and enjoy the Thompson's experience. Thompson's, where our customers do the talking for us. Experience it for yourself. Experience Thompson's. Hi, it's Felita again. The game is over 131 to 109. Really was over a long time ago, but I'm just saying it was a great game. Rudy Gay fouled out in the fourth quarter with 29 points. Demarcus Cousins fouled out in the third quarter with 30 points. That was enough along with the other players on the team to just completely wipe the Nuggets out both at home on the Sacramento Kings home turf and on Denver's home turf. Let's see what the coach has to say about tonight's game, and then we're going to take you into the locker room for some player interviews. Yeah, you know what? It's like uh, tonight was a Jekyll and Hyde night. Uh, first and third quarter, our defense was phenomenal. Uh, second quarter, 35 points allowed. Fourth quarter, 37 points allowed. So uh, I'm happy we won, and I'm happy with all the good things that we did, but um, I don't want us creating poor habits. And to allow a team to score 37 points in the fourth quarter the way they did, uh, really, as I told our team, that's unacceptable. So feel good about the win, protected our home court, uh, but we understand that we have to hold ourselves to a higher standard and we have to defend for 48 minutes. Offense coming into the night was something that you struggled to find uh, cohesion. Uh, six players in double figures. Ray had eight. Pretty good night from the very beginning offensively. No doubt. You know, we jumped them, and what I'm really happy about is 21 assists, only 13 turnovers. Uh, 13 turnovers is our target number. If we can stay at that number or below, uh, we're going to be amongst the uh, league leaders and fewest turnovers per game. Uh, but to see Carl Landry getting his rhythm back and give us the presence he's giving us in the post off the bench, uh, Ray McCallum comes in and, uh, and plays very aggressively with confidence. It's good to see Ben McLemore make a few shots tonight. And then obviously when you have uh, a team that gets to the foul line 50 times, you know, uh, we're playing in an attack mode, very aggressive. And uh, I think DeMarcus and Rudy are playing at a very high level right now. Well, I told them this morning we haven't done a damn thing, you know, at 3-1. and one. So I'm going to keep on telling them that. I mean, the, the season is young. To be 4-1 and one after five games is great. But, you know, we have a very demanding and difficult road trip coming up, you know, starting with Phoenix. So uh, it's a business trip. And, uh, you know, no one is uh, going to be celebrating that, you know, Sacramento is 4-1 is and one right now. We still have a lot of work to do. Uh, we can get better in a lot of areas. I mean, I go in with a mindset every night that nobody can stop me. So, uh it's not really, it doesn't really matter what team it is. I, I just have that mindset as a person. But, um, I mean, it was rolling tonight, so we, we got a good game. It's obviously early success, and Michael had talked about not getting, you know, kind of caught up in that yet. But what has surprised you most within, I guess, the success that you guys have been able to have this early? Um, I don't really say I'm surprised. Um, I, think, I think we had the team to do it from the beginning. It was just about, you know, continuing to grow and, and, and clicking as a as a unit. But um, I totally agree with Coach. Um, we haven't done anything yet. It's five games in. It's a long season. This thing can flip tomorrow. So uh, just just staying on the same path, staying humble while, while we're on this path, and um, staying hungry is the biggest thing. Uh, not feeling like we accomplished anything because in actuality, we haven't. So, um, just continue to grow every day. Um, I don't know. I may, maybe the China trip. Maybe we forced to be around each other a little more than we wanted to. <laughs> you know, we 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 uh we did everything together. I think uh, the fact that we were over there and together, ate together, practiced together, walked around together, I did everything together. Kind of kind of helped us uh, believe in each other. It's fun to win. For sure, <laughs> it's fun to win, but uh, we uh, we we have a lot more a lot more winning to do if we want to go exactly where we want to go. And so that's a wrap for this game. 
the Kings are four and one. We talked to the coach and he said four and one is nothing. This is just the beginning of the season. Talk to him later as the season goes on. The players seem to have pretty much the same attitude. They know the fans are excited, but they want everybody to stay calm, cool, and collected. They still have a long season ahead of them. They also said that they think one of the reasons they're playing so well together is their trip to China. It helped them to bond. They did everything together. They ate together. They played together. They toured together. And so it seems to be working. Whatever the case, they have started a huge bit of excitement here in Sacramento. Sacramento proud. Thank you for watching King's Watch and watch us on Comcast Channel 7 and Foothill7TV.com. See you next time.